I can tell you, reducing maternal, uh, maternal mortality and also infant mortality is perhaps one of the biggest public health challenges. Now, in order to help us collectively to get good results, we must have evidence, we must have information. That, by that, I mean you know the size of the problem. And without that, you cannot even begin. So those statistics of 9.7 million children killed you know, every year, what about women? So if you ask me, how can we make significant improvement in improving maternal and child health, please address gender inequality. Educate women. In Norway, it's one woman per 30,000 birth uh, dies. In, in Afghanistan and some other countries, it's, it's one in seven. It's something of the most dangerous thing uh, women can do is to give birth. So, uh, and it doesn't improve. A common denominator, denominator for all those causes of death is lack of access to health care. Just consider a woman who's poor, who's powerless, and pregnant. And she has no political voice. Children have no political voice. They don't vote. They don't kill. They don't use AK-47. They don't create riots. They can't even write a letter to editor. They can't protest. And so child death just doesn't matter. Child can only cry, and then child can die. A program that we had in Peru, we were able to reduce maternal mortality by almost 50 percent, 49 percent, um, in a project that really just worked with communities, developed um, the infrastructure, trained healthcare workers, made sure that women had access to services and that they knew how to access the services and felt empowered to do that. We were able to bring down maternal mortality by uh, 49 percent. The mental blocks. The mental barriers of the medical community and policymakers, how can an ordinary woman be trained to provide medical care? If we get over those mental blocks, all these medical care benefits can flow to developing country villages. Small shoulder bag in which she has all her equipments which cost $60. With that shoulder bag and $60 equipment and training, she can turn every home and hut in developing country into newborn care ICU. You know, human ingenuity. We need to be creative and need to know the situation on the ground, support the country, the countries know best. And Africa alone, we need more than four million doctors. You just tell me, how long does it take to ta train four million doctors? And by the time you train them, you don't provide an enabling environment for them to do their work. And there's no wonder why they migrate. And then it's just, this is, we really need to break this uh, vicious circle. We know by just shifting the focus a little bit and allocating existing resources and receiving through public-private partnerships and, and people gathering uh, together additional resources that we can literally have an impact that is measurable, that is real, that is discreet with really pretty low technology.